up. Remove all of these guys. I already have this bracket loose. Got all the other brackets off. They just unscrew. There's a T nut on the bottom. Get this guy loose. Now there's a wire attached. So don't pull too hard. Alright, okay, see, there's the wire. There's piles of wire going up to the top. I'm gonna check these sensors. That sounds good. It's not bouncing up and down, making a big clicky noise, and it's not moving. This one. Oh, okay. That one's not good. Look at that. We don't want it to spring up like that. Okay, so I'm going to try to show you how to fix that with one hand. Alright. Unscrew one side. Well, it's got some curve to it, but I want more of a curve. That's not enough. I took the side off that doesn't have the power wire. <laughs> it makes it a little easier. I'm going to bend this guy. I'm bending the middle, bend on the shoulder, and then the shoulder, whatever, I guess if you want to call it a shoulder. I got pretty much three bends in there. Now look at that bend. That's a hell of a bend. But when you flatten it out, that extra bend in it will keep it nice and flat to the pad and keep you from getting ghost steps. Now look at this. Oh, it don't make any noise at all. That, that's nice. That's perfect. That one's okay. And I don't like that one. I was springing up a bit. So we'll do that one too. Over here, we'll check these. They're nice and flat. This one's nice and flat. Now, if these ones spring up, they could. Like, sometimes over time, they could get stretched out and flattened and they'll pop up. That's when you just come in with a hammer. Much better. I'm gonna inspect some other things here while we're here. Okay, that just sits in there. That's a, a sound deadener. It doesn't need to be strapped down or anything. It'll, it'll stay there. Um, we got an issue here. That is getting squished. So that's bad. Why the hell? You, what the, what's going on here? Well, when the pad goes down like this, you can see. Oh, that wire's in the wrong spot. The head of the screw that's on the arrow is touching the wire and it's cutting it. So what I'm going to do is move that wire. supposed to be that far over I don't really have a complete guide on how to set these up and where everything's supposed to go I'm gonna check this one here I already have that one off I'm gonna check that one again later see I want to make sure these don't go over the heads like if it's like this over the top of the head that's gonna interfere it's gonna hit one of these pieces here or even the wood itself but you can see a mark here from where this one is actually hitting the head because you know these things aren't straight you can tilt them and it, the corner could actually hit like you see this one the corner is hitting that's on the extreme but all right so i'm gonna pause it here because i need two hands all right put a new staple in not hitting the head i'm gonna pull it tight And I'm gonna push this the rest of the way down. Make sure that's holding on very good. And the other thing, we don't want the wire to go into the spring. That's bad. So when that squishes down, it's gonna chop your wire. So I might actually readjust this so the wire hangs off the other side. And so when we flip it over, make sure that the wire does not get inside that spring. I might actually just pull that spring out and move it over a bit. There's, they're spread out to each corner. They don't have to be perfectly in the corner. I can move it, it'll still work. And that will keep us or keep the spring from cutting the wire. All right, got my wire moved. Oriented, oriented, oriented it this way. Can't speak. Looking in there, that looks pretty decent. We're not gonna hit the wires. I move the spring over a bit. You can see how it's down and over. I like things up pretty good. So now let's reassemble it.
and we'll test out the whole pad and make sure everything's working good. I'm probably going to go through, I got to check this one and I'll check the top one and I think that will be good. Now this pad, brand new, it's only been played on for like one convention. Uh, we had some issues with a wire getting stomped on like that one. So I'm checking it over and then I'll rerun it and probably take it to another convention and break it in some more. But pretty much lately, these things have been just build it and go. They, the tolerances have, are pretty well dialed in. And I think that's about it. Yeah. All right. So let's get this together. All right. Went through the rest of the arrows. All the contacts seem to be good. There was two more that were a little springy. So I flattened them back out. So let's just give this a try. jumps those are working pretty good so there's a good overview of how you can test and tune the ddr pads and make sure they're working in tip-top shape if you have any questions just shoot me a line uh, you can message me on youtube or even go straight to my website and find my email for now have a fun time dancing